Man, you look way too serious. Whatever. Thanks. Where is alone? What the heck has he done with his life? Don't you wonder? When alone was about two, there was a massive hunt for girls in Esthar. Esthar soldiers came to Windhill and Elle's parents resisted. They were killed on the spot. The massive hunt was to find a successor for Esthar's ruler, Circe's Adele. Alone was raised by Rain, who lived next door, and I came to know her. Then there was another massive hunt for a successor in Esthar again. Elle was taken away, even though I was there. It's the most painful episode of my life. So it rescued her and sent her off to Windhill. Shortly after that, Rain died. And Alone was sent straight home to or straight to an orphanage. Why didn't you go back to Windhill with her? I wanted to! But I had my reasons. I found out about this afterwards, but the reason why Alone had to leave the orphanage was because of her special power. Doc Odine wanted to do research on Alone's special power. He looked for her everywhere. The owners of the orphanage were Sid Kramer and his wife Adia. Well, you know them better than I do. The Kramers took Elle out of the orphanage to protect her. They prepared a big ship to accommodate her, gracious of them, eh? After a while, that ship turned into another orphanage, and Elle looked after all the kids. She said her life on the ship was happy, but who knows? I don't know how she could have been happy on a ship. She was on that ship for over ten years, can you believe it? That ship was attacked by Galvadia recently. Esthar's ship rescued them, and she finally met up with me. It was pure luck that we found her! I was out in space at the time, so she phoned me up. Little Elle was all grown up. Then she told me everything. She, did she get back safely through space? Our escape pod rescue team was a little bit late. Alone was taken into custody by Galvadia. She's inside the lunatic Pandora. We're gonna go rescue her. Help us out, okay? Whew. They were not kidding when they said he can talk. Tell me about Rain. Rain story? Some other time, maybe. No, I can't. It's too much for me to remember. Huh. I was actually expecting him to go on at length. You know what I've been doing all my life, right? You were a silly Gabadia soldier. I didn't like your attitude at all. But I understood the bond between the three of you. Then you changed after you went to Windhelm. Then Alone was adopted by Esthar and you went on a journey. A journey to get Alone back. You wrote articles and appeared in movies to get by. You were trying to find a way to get into Esthar. You somehow rescued Esthar and... Oh, got into a load and rescued Esthar. Wait. No, I said that backwards. That's wrong. That's very wrong. But, uh, yeah. That, that's my question as well. <sighs> okay. One here? Really? Okay, I'll tell you. I only set out to rescue alone, but of course that wasn't the end of the story. It's a country ruled by Sorcerer Adele and the ingenious yet inhumane Odine. Both of them were interested in alone. We couldn't just pack up and leave. Adele will be angry. My research will be kaput! Odine only thought about his research. Well, too bad, Satellite Dish. <laughs> but while researching under Adel's orders, he was still making many inventions. It was a device to seal magic. Maybe Adele can be defeated! I owe a big favor to Adele Resistance, who helped me rescue alone.
I spoke with my comrades. Two issues came up. First, stopping the Crystal Pillar from calling monsters from the moon and destroying everything like what happened in Centra. Second, freeing Esthar from Adel's hands. We planned and planned based on my brilliant ideas, of course. Of course. Uh... Well, I'll give... <laughs> Man, we're back! Back in the Lunatic Manure Research Facility! There is only one goal. Following Odin's instructions, we operated the panel and moved the crystal pillar. We set the course and stop point in the ocean, and goodbye until now. That was easy, but we were found out. So we gathered for a final battle to lure Adele. Adele appeared as we expected, and once again, she is insanely large. Also purple? She has horns? You know, just, like, seriously, look at her. We hunted down the culprit who moved the crystal pillar! Where? Inside there, alone, is being taken hostage! I knew she would go right away if I mentioned alone. You thought I would fall for a, tr for a trick like that? Adele realized that alone was a hologram, but it was too late! Plants are always perfect! Kira's Ward! <laughs> <laughs> Adele was careless. She may be a sorceress, but after all, she was human. We succeeded, but we couldn't keep such a dangerous sorceress around as a trophy. We had to do something. So we decided to send her far, far away. Ragnaroks. Cool. The, Rag the Ragnarok is a really cool ship. Let us be known. And that about wraps that up. But the real work began after that. A fierce debate ensured about who should govern this country after Adel was gone. I wasn't paying close attention to what they made up made me up to be the hero of a revolution, and I ended up being president. <laughs> Odai made a lot of noise about wanting to do research on alone. It was a mistake to send alone back to Rain. Rain died and now was sent to the orphanage. If I had only gone to Windhoe Hill, well, I would have been able to see Rain one last time. Rain was dead, alone missing, my job kept me busy. I was left here, thinking about this and that, and before I knew it, all this time had passed. Well, that's about it. That was quite a story. Okay, explain the plan. Is it my turn? Make it short and easy to understand, just like Lagoon likes it. Laguna, rather. I will talk however I want! 
So, Circe's idea told me everything! Circe's Ultimacia comes from the future to possess the sorceress in the present day! Meaning, she leaves her body in the future and sends only her consciousness here. Does that sound familiar to you? Yeah, it does sort of sound like that. You are a smart one! My first guess was that someone in the future, with an ability like a loan, was sending the sorceress back here to our time. But no, that is not the answer. So how does the sorceress come back into this time? Yes. I kept this a secret to surprise you! It is because of me! Odine! I researched all this power long ago. I made out a pattern from the electric current running through Alone's brain. Once the pattern was determined, it was easy to mechanize. I may only it may only be a toy right now, but in the time of Ultimisia, it is an impressive working machine! Which means there is a machine which imitates Alone's power. It is I who made the first model of that machine. I named the machine Junction Machine Alone! It is a wonderful thing you know that my invention is used in the future. To know. That's about it. So Sir Sir Saltimessia came to know about Alone from that machine. And L became Ultimacia's target. You can't blame Odine, it's useless. You want to go outside? You you want to just <laughs> Really? Let's see. There is only one way to defeat Ultimacia. You must kill her in the future. There is nothing we can do unless we go to the future. There is no way to jump to the future under normal circumstances. But there is still a way. It is because Sorcerer's Ultimacia plans to compress time. Compressing time via magic. What good will it do for the sorcerers to compress time? There may be many reasons, but it does not matter. Let's just figure out what Ultimacia is up to. In order for Ultimacia to exist in this time, she must take over the body of a sorceress from the present. But the machine must have a limit. Ultimacia probably needs to go back further in time to achieve time compression. Only alone can take her back further into the past. That is why she is desperately seeking her. We must take advantage of Alone's power. There are two sorceresses in our time. Renoa and Adele. Of the two, Adele has not yet awakened. Once regeneration is complete, neither Laguna nor I will be safe. Sources Adele will prob is probably in the process of awakening inside the lunatic Pandora. Altamesia will want to possess Adele if Adele wakes up. That will be a horrible event! Adele is a horrible sorceress! If Adele's consciousness wins over Altamesia, Adele will first destroy this era. So we must use Sorcerer's Renoa to inherit Altamesia's power. That is all for the mission briefing. First, go to Lunatic Pandora. Alone's probably being held captive inside, so rescue her first. Then kill Sorceress Adele before the awakening process is complete. Now, we're left with Renault as the only sorceress in this era. Then wait for Ultimacia to possess her. When she arrives, it's Alone's turn. Alone will send Renault back to the past with Ultimacia. Alone will have to send Renault and Ultimacia. I'm getting tired of doing the voice, okay? You know what? We're done. We're done with the voice. Okay. Adira Adele, Zash, up to alone. Once Ultimacia is in the past, she will use time compression magic. We will see some influence here. 
I don't know what kind of influence, but once the moon feels it, she'll cut Reno and Ultimacy off. Reno will come back to this world. Ultimacy goes back to hers. But what we'll be left is the time compressed world. Past, present, and future will all get mixed together. You will keep moving through the time compression towards the future. Once you're out of the time compression, that will be Ultimacia's world. It's all up to you after that. Okay then. <sighs> Let's do it, I guess. Just as long as I can stop talking. Just as long as Dr. Odin is gone. Oh yeah, let's go to the Ragnarok. That sounds like a plan. I always wanted to ride the thing. What's the name? That is such... That is... That is such a Laguna thing to say. Oh hey! And here we are. Everyone! From here, we will go straight to our final target. Ultimacia! Let's go over the plan again. First, enter Lun Lunatic Pandora and rescue alone. Second, fight Sorceress Adele! Show no mercy. Third, the tricky part. Renoa, are you willing to accept Adele's powers? Next, we wait for Sorceress Altamessia to possess Renoa. This will be hard on you, Renoa, but will you do it? But then, Alone sends Renoa and Ultimacia to the past. Alone brings back Renoa! Then you head for the future through compressed time! Ultimacia lives far in the future where none of us can technically exist. I mean, you probably, like, freeze someone. That might work too, but, eh, well, whatever. There's only one way to make yourself exist in such a world. As friends, don't forget one another. As friends, believe in one another. Believe in your friend's existence, and they'll also believe in yours. To be friends, to like one another, and to love one another. You cannot do these things alone. You need someone. Right? What place reminds you of your friends? Imagine being in that place with all of them. One time compression, once time compression begins, think of that place and try to get there. That's all. That place will welcome you. You'll be able to get there no matter what period you're in. You need love and friendship for this mission, and the courage to believe it. It's all about love, friendship, and courage. I'm counting on you guys! Laguna is such a sap, but it, he is a magnificent sap. Love and friendship and all that sounds corny, but everyone seems to be up for it. <laughs> he appears to have a love crown. That's Laguna, all right? <laughs> Okay, well, on that note, I think we will stop off here. Join me next time when we invade the... Where is it? Well, there it is. The Lunatic Pandora itself. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with Blue, and have a great day. Bye!